Welcome everyone. Welcome to this little introduction about my next uh, tutorial I'm gonna build here on YouTube. Uh, first thing I want to thank you everyone who is already subscribed to my channel. That means a lot for me and this is why I want to give another tutorial. So for this tutorial, again, that's gonna be one where we're gonna use React Native. But I want to change a bit like the tech we're gonna use and now that's going to be with a kind of a new language we don't see a lot here on youtube it's elixir and we're going to make use of its awesome framework called uh, phoenix so uh, what we're going to build again because you know i like to build clone of application because i don't want to lose time about like uh, thinking about a new feature i can build for an app so i just want to build a clone so i don't i just think in coding so uh, so we're going to build an Instagram clone and uh, I think we're going to learn uh, a lot of good things with this tutorial. Also, uh, I've learned a lot just by doing this tutorial because I'm kind of new, newbie too on uh, Elixir. So uh, the feature we're going to build, it's kind of what Instagram is. It's we're going to uh, build a photo feed first. Uh, so a user can have uh, all the photo in front of him uh, and he can like a photo so a liking system can like the photo he can also comment the photo also he can take a photo so we're gonna learn how to take a photo with react native also and also we're gonna learn how we can uh, push this photo to the server side after that uh, we're gonna make use of the authentication system with Facebook. So I uh, owe out authentication in the application. So we don't gonna have a email or password. We just want to use kind of OAuth authentication, and we're gonna make use of the GWT. Also, something I didn't say. We're gonna make use of GraphQL too. And I hope that this thing you're gonna like it because I love it so much. After that, we're gonna have a chat system between users, so a one-on-one -on -one chat. So uh, just a simple uh, chat uh, system where each user can chat with someone else and you have like a, a place where you have all his friends and he can search which friend he wants to text. And uh, kind of, I mean, the real Instagram. And also we're gonna have a following system right there. Uh, so yeah, so we can have friends in the application. Also, I think of maybe adding a following system about tagging, but this is something we're going to do uh, do too. And also, we're going to surely have a search at the end. But this thing is going to be uh, kind of a homework at the end for everyone, and we're going to see how we can build that. And also, a really important, this is not a full Instagram app, but just enough to learn a good amount of things. Uh, because I get a lot of comments a lot, uh, all the time on YouTube, like, can you add this? Can you add that? Can you add this? And sometimes it just, uh, when I build the stuff, it just, because I want to give you the, the, the like the knowledge, but sometimes I don't want to go too much further because I mean, it's, uh, I don't want to put like a 20 hour video on stuff. So you see what I mean? So this is the feature we're going to build. So the tech we're going to use, React Native for the mobile framework. After that, for the backend framework, we're going to use Phoenix. So we can check here. So React Native, everyone, if you are on my channel, you can know uh, React Native. It's something I use a lot. Uh, it's a way to build iOS and Android app in, Re in React. Also, um, that's been built by uh, Facebook. And you can see here, they Instagram use it. So it's a good idea, I think, to build with this. After that, we're going to make use of GraphQL and Apollo GraphQL. So that's going to be the... Uh, the technology we're gonna use in the front end to make the query with the GraphQL. So for the who, who, for the one who don't know GraphQL, uh, that's maybe not the good tutorial for you to uh, to learn GraphQL. I will go on a tutorial of GraphQL first, and after that I will jump on this one. After that, we're gonna make use of Elixir, this awesome language. I mean, one of the language right now I I love it so much. I mean, it's uh, the syntax and everything makes sense. After that, we're gonna make use of the Phoenix framework. And for those who ask, yes, we're gonna make use of the version 
So uh, for those who know uh, Phoenix a lot, they know that in version 1.3 we change kind of uh, we change the architecture, and this is uh, what we're gonna use. After that, for the GraphQL part in the backend, so for the Elixir, we're gonna make use of the AppSynth uh, library. So uh, uh, this is the this is like the one we're gonna do the implementation of GraphQL inside the Elixir language. And it go really well with Phoenix. Again, pretty good job here. The database we're gonna make use of ParseGress. I don't want to change the uh, like the standard uh, database we use when we use um, uh, Phoenix. Also here, as you can see, I write Apollo. And yes, we're gonna use a new version because, as you know, uh, in the past week we get the version two of Apollo, and that changed a lot of the uh, change a lot of uh, how we use the library. So uh, this is the tech we're gonna use. So what you need to have before taking this course or tutorial, if you like it more, you need to have a good knowledge of React Native. Uh, this course is not about getting deep on something. It's about, because I mean, sorry if I talk bad, but what I mean is I see a lot of person who struggle to just start uh, working out on a project then kind of know like oh i know this i know that i know this i know that but they don't really know how to make that on context and build something so this is just a plan of this application so uh, tutorial it's just we go on the code we build the the feature we want to build uh, with like the instagram clone so we're going to make use of the same kind of design and stuff like that and we don't lose time on all oh, which kind of feature I can build. We just make uh, we lose time of how they build this feature, and right away after that we jump on the code. After that, we need to know. Uh, you need to know a bit about Elixir. It's not a Elixir beginner course where I'm gonna teach you how function work, also all pattern matching work, and uh, stuff like that, and how to use recursion and stuff like this, and uh, so, I mean, uh, take some course on Elixir first be before go, uh, going there because I think it's going to be pretty hard for you to uh, catch up on this tutorial. After that, you need to have a basic knowledge of GraphQL. So the only thing I ask you about learning about GraphQL is you need to know what is a resolver, what is a schema, and what is a mutation, and also what is a subscription. If you know this thing and also why we use GraphQL, uh, you're good to go for the GraphQL part. And I want you at least to have touch Postgres. Uh, I don't like. I mean, uh, I don't want to talk about like uh, what is a joint table and stuff like this. So, uh, I mean, just know uh, <laughs> a bit of Postgres. So this is not a beginner, a beginner course. So how we gonna? How I'm gonna record uh, this tutorial? First thing, the the, the uh, some of the video is already recorded, so that's gonna be kind of easy, but. I want to uh, tell you like all oh, the strategy gonna work. First thing we're gonna use kind of a TDD approach, approach for a good portion of the tutorial. So for the one who don't know what is TDD, that means test driving development. So that means like you do the test before you build something, and you make your test crash and you build your thing until your test is good. So this thing gonna be pretty good to do on the server side. Uh, way because I mean in the front end it's kind of uh, it's not that much easy <laughs> with React Native and stuff like that so uh, the tutorial is going to be divided in many parts and each part going to have a, at least three to five video and maybe be more and they're going to be divided by user story or feature if you like more so uh, each part going to be looks like this example for two video one, we're gonna have the photo feed description. So I'm gonna talk about okay, so what we need to do when we do the photo feed stuff. Also, what is the uh, user story, etc. After that, we're gonna write uh, wrote some backend test. So because we do TDD, so we're gonna just write uh, the test and uh, make it crash. So the next video after that, we're gonna write the code to make it work. So we're going to finish the video number two with a crash, and we're going to finish the number three with the video two working now. After that, we're going to pass the uh, video four about designing the mobile site about this feature. So if we do the photo feed, 
we're gonna design the photo feed in the front end. So like the each card with the photo in the scroll view, etc., and with uh, just mockup data. And finally, in the last video of this part, example, that's gonna be about uh, putting the GraphQL. So putting finally the backend and the mobile side to talk each other and to let the mobile part to show the real data. So we're gonna just change what we mock for the real data. My plan when I'm gonna start to push the video is gonna be to have a new user story or feature each week. So one week that's gonna be photo feed. Second week is gonna be about the liking system. So uh, after that, you see like there's gonna be the following etc. If I feel then um, uh, their video go pretty good. So I mean, I see uh, you like it a lot and then you want it much more. I can maybe push video much more faster. It just, I try to just, uh, I mean, I want you to, uh, <laughs> to get time to learn other stuff before coming back on this tutorial. So the tutorial is not ready yet. Uh, I've done, I'm going to say 75% of the, uh, of the tutorial. So I think it's going to start to come on YouTube mid-December, uh, mid maybe earlier, maybe a bit later. But uh, I'm going to try my best to do this. This tutorial is not like the other one I've built. It's going to have a bit more structure. So as you can see now, I have a good uh, uh, introduction, I think. And uh, I mean, I hope you're going to make some fun like I have with this kind of technology. And for those who came from Node.js and just want to play with Phoenix and the you just want to see how that's gonna look like. Trust me, when I'm gonna finish this course with you and uh, this uh, thing, uh, I mean, I don't want to jump back on Node.js after that. Phoenix just makes so much sense and that's why I really uh, want to give uh, some knowledge and uh, stuff like that to other people because I just think this framework can go really, really well in the future. And this is for the modern world. I mean, it's, uh, and this is what they say right there. This is a web framework. We don't compromise the speed and the metendability, and you see what I mean? <laughs> and this is built for the new web. So uh, you're gonna love it, trust me. So I hope you enjoy. Please let me know on the comments uh, how you feel about this next course. Again, I want to uh, thank you everyone who have already subscribed to my channel that make a lot of uh, uh, I mean, that motivates myself a lot, so that's why I, I want to push a new uh, tutorial and put time uh, for you. I hope you enjoy, and we're going to talk later. Have a good uh, Thanksgiving, everyone. Bye.